Yeah. You know, it may be bread and water for the last five days of the month. Nowadays, the millennials, they are all about early gratification. And maybe one has to look a little bit of delayed gratification. Not take away the nice things that you do in life, but enjoy that as well. But maybe just compromise on a few of those and start saving today. Not tomorrow or next week, but today. Looking at what the one rand man has endured the last few weeks, you know, I have to pat him on the back and say, well done, man. I think uh, it's very admirable that he's gone this way. And I think he's really teaching every one of us, including myself, a big lesson as to what the value of money is. If you want to save, you have to put those savings away in the beginning of the month. One of these little Tupperware boxes has got to be your savings. And you have to say, I can't touch that. And that's really how, how you have to look at it. You can't just spend and say at the end of the month, well, this is what I've got left, let me save that. I don't think saving's gonna work that way. Put it away first, and then make sure that you, that you spend what you have. You know, fly as high as, uh, as you can and not higher. I, a while ago, I did a small cal calculation. If you put a thousand rand a month away, and you earn 1% per month on it, which is 12% per year. After five years, you will have 82,000 rand, just over. After 10 years, you will have 232,000 rand. After 20 years, you will have just short of a million rand. And that is the power of compound interest. That's why it's the eighth wonder of the world. If you borrow money and you have to pay that compound interest, this is how much you will be in the red. So what I want to say to Mr. One Rand Man, you know, go out, take a little bit of that discretionary expenses away, put it away from now on, because time is a very important factor in compound interest.